We all know everyone loves a good cheeseburger and here to celebrate National Cheeseburger Day with her special twist is Chef Antonio Lafaso. Welcome, Chef. Thank this is you. a really amazing and special twist. You don't mess around. Look at all this. I know. I mean, as simple as a burger can be, okay. I like to zhuzh it up a little bit. But this burger specifically is lettuce, tomato, onion, just done a little bit differently. So I've got caramelized onions, okay. I've got confit tomato, I've got a little bit of arugula, and then I'm going to make a dill shallot aioli. So it isn't your basic you know, burger with lettuce, tomato, onion, I've, I've judged it up a little bit. We expect nothing less from yes. you. And speaking of which, you use three types of beef. Yes. So tell me, A, what you got there, and so, also why you like to use those three. Absolutely, so I've got three different kinds of beef here, and then they're already roasting here on a back cast iron grill. Um, and so it's chuck, short rib, and a little bit of brisket. And the reason I have three, and I love to tell people at home, Talk to your butcher, spend time with your butcher, no matter the supermarket, there's always someone back there who can do special grinds for you. So you don't have to just say, this is what's been prepackaged. I'm gonna take this. You can say, I want, I would love to do chuck, brisket, short rib. And the reason I do all three is they play a very different part, all three of them. One is there for texture, is okay. the chuck that gives it a little bit of that steaky texture. The short rib is there solely for fat. It's like, hey, fat is the new kale, fat is good for you, yes. we love fat. I love. 40% fat in my burger. And then I go a little bit of brisket because brisket is just meaty. Like that is where you get your meat, meat, meat flavor. So those are the three. I love it. And they're they're charring back here. Okay, and I'm gonna good. go good old fashioned uh, American cheese on the top. And you can, whatever cheese you like, but I just, I love an American cheese. I'm okay. gonna go crisscross and let those just finish. And you're okay doing those right on the stove top just like right that? Right on the stove top and I'm gonna just let that, you know, it's gonna melt just from the heat from the cast iron. Um, but what I wanna show you, which is kind of a fun little trick, which is my tomatoes. Okay. So you can use a fresh tomato, slice it, salt it, and have that be on your burger. But I like to do a confit tomato. And you can see those here, it's garlic, it's thyme, it's olive oil. It Basically, delicious. it's slow cooked in oil. And what you do, and you can do this with a vine ripe, you can do it with a Roma tomato that we have here. Um, and again, this is great for also tomatoes that are kind of going bad and that you wanna cook. I wanna take the skin off, so I've okay. just kind of Scored it. You an got a X. Score there. I've gotcha. taken the top off, and yep. then it's just going into water. And boiling, we're not boiling, boiling water. water. Doesn't need to be seasoned. All we're going to do is take the skin off of the tomato. And how long does it stay in the boiling water? It stays in the boiling water. I'm going to say 45 seconds max. Okay. And you can kind of see it in there where it starts to peel away a little bit. And again, we're not cooking the tomato. We're only taking the skin off. This is a great little tip to how to do this because it, otherwise it would be like pretty tricky. Well, it is a little tricky to peel a, a raw tomato, yeah. right? So you can actually see here the skin's actually actually already started to pull away, and there you go. And that was less than 45 that seconds. That was less everybody. than 45 seconds. We just pull it right off, just like that. Skin is off, and then we're gonna cut these into quarters. Okay, and then how about making the confit? Do you, uh... So then I would take this out just like this, and now I like to call these petals. Okay. These are tomato petals, right? No skin, no seeds. Those then go into a pot, garlic, thyme, salt, pepper, olive oil, in a low oven, and you just cook them, and then they become these beautiful petals of cooked confit tomato. Now that on your cheeseburger so uh, compared to like, you know, freshly sliced tomato, which is great, don't yes. get me wrong, but I mean, it's a whole different animal. Okay, whole now we're gonna make some aioli. We're right? gonna make some aioli. So I've got mayonnaise, right? So store-bought mayonnaise, totally acceptable. Yeah. A little bit of raw shallots, dill, some lemon juice. And this is just, again, everyone loves a special sauce, right? Yes. We've gone to so many burger places. We yep. love a special sauce, whether it's ketchup, whether it's relish, whatever you want in there. I'm going dill, shallots. That sounds good. Oh, it's so good. It and a little bit of so lemon juice because you need acid to it. I am a big fan of mayonnaise on my burger. I will not only put it on my burger, but then have it on the side and just like dunk burger into mayonnaise. Into the mayonnaise. What does the acid do in there? Just So, so the acid just brightens it up. Okay. Just brightens good, it up. Good. Um, okay, and the other thing I'd like to just talk about real quick. Please. Do not shame people for wanting their burgers medium well or well done, okay? okay. <laughs> Why are you looking at me when you're saying that? I don't, I mean, I... I don't know. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll look over here. I'll say <laughs> it to someone saying... over here. I won't. I Whoever won't you are, over here. Now, you say that because? I'm saying this because there is, you know, there is a conversation amongst chefs. There's a conversation amongst people that if you don't eat medium rare steaks or burgers, it's like, 
I can't speak to you anymore. Yes, that's right? right. It happens. Yes. It's happened to me. I've had chefs in restaurants. I order a burger medium well. I am a medium well burger eater. I've said it. Come at me. DM me. Whatever you want to do. Okay. Um, they are like, really, chef? Not rare. I'm but like, you get the, the flavor and the texture from everything else. Correct. Is what you're yeah, there you, you go. You already know my answer. Well, if I'm you very have a, talented. If you... <laughs> If you have a good grind of meat that is high fat and you want to eat your burger well done or eat it the way you want to eat it, yeah. you're not going to get a hockey puck okay. of a burger because you have enough fat and that's where it's coming from. Okay. That's right. So, in so, come the short rib. In, come, in comes the short rib. Right, exactly. from the oh, fat in there, exactly. Oh, you got you your aioli going everything on. I Now, say. caramelized onions. Um, caramelized onions. So, again, we are using caramelized onions, which you'll see right here as I build my burgers. Um, butter. Onions in a pot, stew, let them get color. Onions have natural sugar to them. They're gonna get brown on their own. If you wanna add a little bit of sugar to help them out, you can do low that as well. Low for a while until they turn that color and then you're done? Exactly. Okay, very good. And oh, again, you put the aioli on both sides. Well, I had a chef once tell me, you eat both sides of your burger, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you eat both sides of your burger, you need, you need mayo on both sides. There you go, I like it. Okay, so I we're like gonna it. do... This one's for me. I just want you to keep that in mind as you're kind of building it, okay? Oh, got it. We're building our burger. Building burgers. Okay, although they do look pretty even, which is fine. Okay. I don't want to, you know, don't want to... And then a little bit of the We're onion. We're going to do a little... And by a little bit of onion, I say a lot of onion. And when we say a little bit, we mean half of that bowl. Yes, you get half and I get the other half. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> Listen, it's National Cheeseburger Day. Yeah, so we, got, we have the cheese, we have the burger, we have the onions. Then we're gonna go a little bit of tomato. I'll say this, this is unlike any cheeseburger I have ever seen. Oh, well that's what I like to hear. I but mean you know what I love so much, think about this, it's all the ingredients that we recognize, right? We recognize tomato, we recognize onion, we recognize a lettuce and a cheese on a burger. It's just done a little bit differently. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt and a little squeeze of lemon to the arugula. Now think about this, this is so much fat. We've got fat from the tomatoes, fat from the onions, fat from the cheese, fat from the aioli. Arugula is bitter, it's bright, and it's the perfect green that we need on this burger. Bitter, bright, and green. You know what I'm gonna need? I need a bigger mouth. You're gonna need a bib. Yeah, I'm gonna need gonna a bib. Need a, and you know what else I'm gonna need do? A bib. Is I'm actually, as you're finishing this up here, I'm gonna take us out before I take a bite of the burger because I know that's not gonna work well. Okay. Antonia, you are a genius. Uh, you go ahead, I guess gonna, maybe put that there. Okay. Yeah, you can drop we'll it there and then I'll come and in and get it. You see get how it. we do okay. this? We're keeping our social distance. <laughs> yes. Everybody keep up with Antonia on her social media. And as always, you grab this recipe at hallmarkchannel.com. You will not be disappointed. Wish me good luck, everybody. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's going to be so scary. I'm sure I'm going to take a bite.